If you are taking a geometry course and you are learning about constructions, so you're learning how to use a compass and a straight edge to do different things, you may want to consider using this online resource because there may be times when you may not have a, a compass or a straight edge handy or maybe just your compass skills are lacking. So you might find this to be a little bit simpler at times. So what I want to do is show you how you can uh, use this resource. Um, so here, this resource is called uh, Constructions Tool Math Pad. So if you just type in you know, Math Compass Online Tool. So here in my search bar, this is the first thing that comes up. And if you click on it, it's going to take you over here to this site. All right, so what I want to do is show you how to use this so that you can do constructions if you don't have your construction tools handy. All right, so here, okay, you notice you have different things, different options. If you want to create a segment, you just push this button, and then you have to click and then drag, and then you can release once you have your line created. And it's still going to keep creating more line segments. So, so here it's going to keep creating more and more line segments until I click this off. All right, so once you click that off, now it's not going to do anything when I click. And if you want to erase something uh, or undo something, here's the undo button right here. So undo my previous drawing. And then if you want to clear everything, you can press this button, CLR. All right, so uh, let's try to practice here with creating a line segment. All right, so now we've created the line segment. From here, what we want to do is we want to do a simple construction of bisecting the segment. So notice here there's a compass button. You can click it, and then it's going to bring this compass right here. So what you have to do is you have to click this left side over here. See the part with the needle, with the little pointy part? All right, that part, you need to click on that to drag it, to move it around. All right, and that kind of like locks into the end of the segment for you. All right, so it, it'll automatically look for those. And then from here, okay, if you, can, you can change the width. So if you grab this side with a pencil, you can extend it, uh, make it shorter or longer, however you want. And it kind of wants to follow the path of this line segment. It'll kind of automatically do that for you. All right, so it might make life a little bit easier by doing that. All right, so you can, you can change the size. All right, and then from here, if you go to the top, do you see how this, you have this little uh, circle that shows up? Okay, what I can do is I can click and then drag, and it's going to create a curve. Okay, so we can do that. We can then release, and then we can move it wherever we want. So let's move it over here to this side, like this. All right, so we move it over here, and you don't want to change the length, right, when you're doing a construction like this. You don't want to change the length, uh, but I do want to rotate it. So let's, uh, let's rotate it like, oops, like this. All right, so we rotate it down. And what we want to look for is uh, the intersection. All right, so like right here, that location, and then this location down there. All right, so we're done with the compass. Let's, let's move this out. Uh, so we can click right here. Now it disappears. We can toggle back and forth if you want. And now we want a straight edge. All right, so we're gonna use right here the ruler. Again, you can click to toggle it on and off. And then uh, this one, again, you can just click anywhere where you see the little hand showing up and you can drag it around as needed. All right, and what I want to do though is I want to turn it. This isn't a very smooth operation necessarily, but we want to turn it. Um, so I take a couple tries. By the way, you can rotate down at the bottom too. So either side you can rotate. All right, so we want to line this up right here. All right, so that it's gonna create a line going through those intersections. All right, and notice I didn't click I didn't click anything. I didn't click this. Uh, um, I did not click that right there. Um, but I can click the click the uh, pencil, or not click it even here, and it's going to automatically pull this up as an option, right? So what I do is just click and drag. Okay, it doesn't have to be precise. See how it's kind of moving? You know, I'm not precisely on, but I can I can make it whatever length I want, and then I can remove this, and there you go. So what I've done is I've created a bisection of this line segment. And I'm not sure if there's a, a way to erase 
um, this part because we really don't need the curves or the arcs that we created. Um, but you know, here, here we do have what we wanted, right? We have the the um, the bisection of this line segment. All right, and there's different options up here. Uh, you can change the width of the different things, so the different marks that you make, and then uh, here, okay, here we'll change the color. All right, so it changes the color of whatever marks you make. All right, so here if we do the compass, all right, we can see this is going to create a, a red, a red arc. So again, right here, this would change the color, and that's basically it. Uh, there's stuff up here you can maybe mess around with. I've not done anything with these, but um, right over here on the left, you have the tools you need to do some basic constructions. Now, you, you probably will eventually want to do this on paper because you're going to want to erase some of these arcs that you created. And I don't think there's an easy way to do that here. But uh, for the basic ones, for sure, this would, this would suit its purpose. All right, so hopefully you found this helpful. And again, that, that location is maths mathspad.co.uk. Right, that's the website up here.